in Maryland, they have an anti-Semitism task force, except for one problem. They picked the biggest anti-Semite in Maryland to be on the task force, fired her, and then brought her back. Seriously. Let's go to Maryland to start off, Will. You know, there's a hate crime task force there. That's a really good idea. It's a group of different people representing different organizations to stamp out hate. That's the whole idea about it. Well, a member of the Maryland State Hate Crime Task Force was, was suspended. Uh, let me tell you what she did, and then let me tell you what happened afterwards. It's this lady. Her name is Zanab Chowdhury. That's her with the nose piercing and the hijab on. She posted a bunch of claims after the October 7th mass murder in Israel, saying that the babies were all faked. In other words, the babies in ovens, the babies burned to death, the babies come out of cut out of the mother's womb. Those were all Israeli videos. Now, keep in mind, this complete idiot, I don't know what else to call her, that's a compliment, decided that all the GoPro cameras worn by all the Hamas and Palestinian murderers who crossed the border were all faked. <laughs> all the blood was faked. All the shootings were faked. The dogs they killed, the moms, dads, the grandpas, everything was faked. It was all Israeli propaganda. This woman was on the Hate Crimes Task Force, and her mission was to stamp out hate in Maryland. So... She got fired for being filled with hate, obviously, not <laughs> someone trying to stamp out hate. Here's where it gets even weirder. Listen to this quote. This is from the attorney general. He's a Democrat in Maryland. Quote, upon further review, it was determined that the law established in the commission, the hate crimes commission, directs the attorney general to appoint members to a four-year fixed term, but does not provide the attorney general the authority to remove a commissioner before the expiration of their term, nor the authority to suspend a commissioner. Therefore, because he wasn't granted that specific authority, he doesn't even want to confront her. She's back on the commission. This woman hates Jews. This woman hates Israel. This woman hates Israelis. <laughs> Are you hearing all of this? Is she? That's is she how bad she is. Here's Did she come from her. Harvard? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, I Let me show you her picture again, just so <laughs> you can get an idea of what we are dealing with. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she went to Harvard. Is it white? Would not surprise me at all. The question is, what should be done when you see this sort of thing happen and you've got so much hatred coming out of one person's mouth. And then the coward who is the attorney general goes, well, they didn't give me the authority to fire her. So I'll let her stay for four years. And in four years, can you imagine the damage she's going to do? She's only been there a couple of months, right? And she has all these quotes about how all the problems started with Israel in 1948. In other words, the whole country, is at fault, right? And she shared this quote. She celebrated the martyred Palestinians and she said, there's an Islamic prophecy that said garrisons, which is an old word for armies, will defend the lands of Islam, be it in Eshkelon or elsewhere. I've been to Eshkelon, it's a city in Israel. So this woman hates Israel so badly, hates Jews so badly, she can't even contain herself when she's on this commission and the attorney general in Maryland doesn't have the stones, so to speak, to fire her. She you would know, have made a great Nazi. Yeah. You know what, Barry? She's probably there because of her color. You know, that's probably saving her. And I didn't even think about it. I, was, I saw this clip with Leo Terrell, you know, Leo 2.0. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, right? I do. And I was watching this clip and they were talking about the difference between these these 
presidents at these universities not getting fired. But one of them resigned. She was white. But the one at Harvard, the one that's gay, go, you know, her name is gay. She's still there. And he brought up a really good point. She's there and they're not going after her because she's not white. She's black. Same thing here. Same thing here. They don't so, want to fire so her because just, if she was be white. I, I, I want to be clear on what you're saying. You're saying this is reverse racism. That if somebody is of color, whatever the color, right. whatever the shade, right, they can get away with talking about, like, there's another post I'm looking at now. She posted the flag of Nazi Germany after the October 7th attacks, suggesting that Israel was the same as Nazi Germany. You know, yeah, the country that killed 100 million people, of which 6 million were Jewish. So she's not getting fired. She can... It, did, if I, would have I, been white. To respect, I happen to respect Leo quite a bit. Very yeah. bright guy. Formerly a Democrat like yep. you. Yep. Woke up. Yep. Got got unwoked or whatever yep. you want to call it. And goes, I, I don't those people aren't helping my my race. They're yeah. they're keeping us on the plantation. But right? that's the reason. Yeah, but that's the very reason why. And I'm looking, I said, you know what? That's a really good point. Because if you notice, all of the ones that haven't that 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 haven't been removed have been people of color they've been a black or a person of color that's pathetic because we're supposed to be a colorblind society we're supposed to be created all in the image of god not a specific color damn it <laughs> right right and the idea that somebody gets to shoot off their mouth in an official capacity in a very big job in the state of Maryland, comparing Israel to Nazis and celebrating what happened on October 7th and saying all the dead bodies, contrary to what Hamas themselves said, were faked by Israel. She's still on the commission. I'm disgusted.